Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Hippo Tech. Sorry for not having uploaded in a while. I've been very busy lately. Um, so today, um, as most of you guys know, uh, Photoshop CS5 just came out uh, about a few days ago. And I am just here in this video to demonstrate content to wear fill and get some different scenarios you could use it in. And I'll give it a rating at the end. So just stay tuned and I'll get on to the video now. So my first picture is obviously this nice clouds and stuff. Um, my problem with this picture is a little imprint in the bottom of SugarMountainFarm.com. I could obviously crop the picture, but it screwed up the dimensions. So I'm just gonna uh, use Content Aware Fill to take it out. So I'm just gonna draw a quick box around. So here we have it, and I'm gonna press Backspace, and the Fill dialog should come up. And the fill dialog should then show up. Um, use content aware fill, uh, blending mode, I'm keeping it as normal and opacity is 100%. I'm gonna press OK and let uh, content aware fill chew through that little uh, section. Control D. As you can see, it obviously isn't 100% perfect. You might be able to see that little seam right there, but it's pretty close. It obviously will need some touching up at the end, but it looks pretty nice. Like if you're looking at it from far away, you wouldn't really see um, what it looked like. So that was scenario A. I'm gonna go on to scenario B, right? So the next scenario, I still have the cloud thing going on, but I want to extend it on until the white blank area of this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an area inside of my picture of the clouds. I'm going to press Control Shift or Shift Control I to select the inverse. And I'm going to hold down Shift F5. And the fill dialog will show up. Content aware fill, press OK. And we'll see the results of this kind of very complicated background. See how accurate it could get it. Control D to deselect. That's pretty good. I don't really see, oh wait, there's just like very minor little seams, there's always like a seam, but this one came out very nice actually. You can see it kind of changes the sky right here, just like little random splotches, but um, overall it's like a very nice result that you've got right here. So that's pretty nice. Um, I'm going to go on to the last scenario right now. So as you can see here, um, I just want, there's people swimming in the ocean. I just want the ocean. So I'm just going to cut all the people out of the ocean and see what content Aware Fill does with like the waves and the ripples in the ocean. So I'm going to bring up a path. Uh, shift that by for the uh, fill dialog. Content Aware Fill, press OK. will need to deselect that came out pretty nice as you can see there's kind of like splotches where the people were but it was a very rough selection also you don't really need an accurate selection but overall content aware fill is a very nice feature um obviously there will always need some touching up unless it's a very simple uh, kind of gradient background or whatever but um i had tried it out sometimes and it like totally screwed it up I tried, like, it was like a grassy plant. It had, like, rocks in it. I took away the rocks, and, like, trees just kind of showed up in the middle of it. So, overall, I give Content Aware Fill a 4 out of 5. Uh, stay tuned for some more overviews and new features in Photoshop CS5. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next time, and bye.